Each one of you will have three minutes to present a closing statement. And we'll start with you, Janice. Um, and our timers are back to their three minute cards. Okay, All right. go ahead, Janice. I want to be your governor. I'm ready. I know how it works. I know the questions to ask. Sadly, I know who fits. And you know, it took a little bit of time to recognize how that happened. It was really a stark revelation to me that serving as a legislator, that a cabinet secretary would lie to a legislative committee. Well, you know, you've got two ways to deal with that. One, there will be no secretaries in my administration that will lie to a legislative committee. If we're not dealing with the truth, we cannot possibly serve this state. As your governor, I understand how some of that works, and it'll take us a little bit of time to change it, but I know that we can. I am so excited to be your governor right now because we're broke. What an opportunity. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, when things are worse, we're at our best, we're broke. This is the time to turn our state, to set some priorities. It's time to say, we're not gonna do everything for you. In fact, it's better if we don't. We're gonna do those things that are important. And we're going to have a community discussion and we will meet those obligations and we will do it well. And we will have a state government that actually provides a service and that when you are engaged in your state government, that service will be pleasant. And when you get your go to get your driver's license, it will only take you 30 minutes and not a half a day. We can do these things. And when you file your taxes, instead of taking three days or a week, it will be simple because you know what? We can make those choices. I am ready to lead you to those choices to have government do what it should do, but also to help lead our state. And I will reiterate, we can, we should be the largest energy exporter in the nation. In order to do that, you must have an ethical government. You must have an educated workforce. That means your children must have access to knowledge. We're not competing with California or Texas. We're competing with China and India and the rest of the world. And that is the only standard that we must meet. Our kids are smart. They deserve this chance. They deserve to have not a state of potential, but a state of excellence, a state of prosperity. That is what I want to leave my grandchildren. How about you? I'd like your vote. We normally get two minutes or minutes or three minutes. It feels like an eternity. <laughs> um, you know, what is this race about? Uh, I, I think that we're all fairly clear on what's wrong with our state and the path that it has taken over the last seven years. And my view is this race is about all of us getting out of our chairs and off our couches and taking action. And taking action to fight what has happened to New Mexico, to fight for the things that we believe in. And that's why I got in this race. You know, I believe that this race is about being able to balance a budget without cutting services. I believe this race is about cutting the size of state government and reducing the tax burden on individuals. I believe this race is about creating an environment where government is an advocate rather than an adversary. I believe this race is about providing choices to our parents and opportunity to our children. I believe this race is about creating an economy uh, where people can grow their small businesses and the small businesses that cre create most of the jobs in our, in our country and in our state. That's not where we are today. This race is not a popularity contest. You're not electing someone to go up to Santa Fe and make a lot of friends. You're actually electing someone to go up and probably make a lot of enemies. You're electing someone to go up and reduce the size of our state government in an extreme way. Today, for every 100 state uh, uh, private sector employees that we have, we have 24 government employees. It's twice the size of the average state, uh, of, of, it's twice the average of states in this country. That's what we're here to do. This race is about our freedoms. This race is about our independence and voicing our independence from the federal government. This, voice is, this race is about standing up for what is right for ourselves, for our families, for our children, and for our future. 
So I believe that as you go and think about who you're going to vote for, think about this. Ronald Reagan said that much is asked of those who are chosen to lead, but much more is asked by those who are doing the choosing. And you are all here today, much like everyone else who is energized by this campaign and the Republicans who are running, to choose a governor who doesn't have vested interests, who choose a governor who's not in it for a new career, choose a governor who's not in it for a pension, who's not in it for doing anything but what is right for the people of New Mexico. That's why I'm in this race, and I honestly believe that's why all of you are here today. I ask for your support, uh, and I'm thrilled that you're all involved. Thank you very much. Certainly this election is about taking back our state. We've had seven years and three months um, of very poor leadership. We've had seven years and three months that has to change. If we do not pull together and unite behind a candidate who will change the face of this state, we will have four more years of the same. We must, I, I respect the intelligence of the voters a great deal. Um, you, have, you are doing your research, you are going to the websites, you are learning about the different candidates and what they stand for. And you are going to choose who you want to represent you. We have to make sure that at the end of the day, we can defeat Diane Denish. That we can make sure that whoever represents us as a Republican can defeat Diane Denish and turn the state around. Because without it, we will have a failed economy, a failed educational system, and a continued corrupt government. We saw the people that she was surrounding herself with, Diane Dennis surrounded herself with, when she thought she was going to become the governor. And they are the very same people that the current administration, the current governor, surrounds himself with. We will not have a different administration we must take this one wonderful opportunity to take our state back. Make sure that we elect the individual that can get the swing over vote that is necessary from the conservative Democrats and independents, the folks in the Tea Parties, the people in the 912 groups. We have to make sure at the end of the day we win, that we take back our state that we grow our economy, we remove those, those regulations that are not scientifically based so that those small businesses continue to bring back jobs so that that government doesn't think they're the job creators because they're not. You are the ones that create small businesses and small job or jobs and you're the ones that are going to hire new people, not state government. Those 3,400 jobs that are vacant, we need to take a quick look to make sure, are they necessary? If they involve safety, public safety, absolutely not, we don't get rid of them. But why are we having to make this decision? Because of our current administration. We have got to get rid of that administration and that way of thinking. We need to unite, we need to make decisions. We have two months, only two months, before we choose our Republican representative and we must make a wonderful choice so that we can all then unite. At the end of the day, we must unite and move forward with that candidate to make sure that we defeat Diane Dennis. All right, thank you so much, very much, yes.